All right, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 30. This is kind of a fun lesson. I've, I actually never knew this before uh, having to make this video. This neat idea of using a number line to partition a whole precisely into equal parts. It's really kind of neat. I have my advanced degree in math, and I've never seen this method before. It's kind of cool. So let's get started on this. All right, so we've got this piece of binder paper here, and first thing we're told is we are supposed to rotate it on its side like so and then um, once it's on its side like this then we're supposed to label and we can start right here and we're going to label that as um, zero and then we're told to count over five spaces one two three four five and then label that one third and then count over five more spaces and label that another third so that makes two thirds and then we're gonna go over five more spaces and there's our three thirds which is the same thing as one whole now we are told to draw a line straight up from each of those thirds. Zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds. So there's our lines. And then if we take our red rectangle here, tape a strip of paper here, uh, you'll notice it goes beyond our three thirds, okay? Now the idea is how can we use these blue lines to cut this red into perfectly into thirds, all right? Now here's the cool thing, teachers. Uh, kids aren't really going to be expected to solve this on their own, although give them some time. Let them figure it out. Maybe they can fi you know, figure it out. But the idea is take this lower corner down here and stick it right on zero and then rotate until the upper corner perfectly matches there. Look at that up here. It perfectly matches this blue line right here. So down here is at zero, way up here is at one, and then you can see where these guys are intersecting right here and right here. And now, right where it crosses, I'm going to put my little blue, I mean, a little black dot right there. And then, if we rotate, and there we go. Now we can see that our red rectangle has been cut into thirds, perfect thirds. We can draw a line right here, draw a line right here, and then you can see here's one third, here's one third. And there's one third. How, how cool is that? All right, let's repeat this process. Only this time, let's do it with oh, let's do it with sevenths. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my paper, and then let's label this as zero. And oh, let's do every two lines. So every two spaces will be a seventh. So one seventh, two sevenths. 3 sevenths, 4 sevenths, 5 sevenths, 6 sevenths, and 7 sevenths. So there's our, our lines, and now we're going to draw our blue lines going up. And we can do these as high as we want. Almost there, almost there. There's our blue lines. And now we can take our red and um, and then I can down here, I'm going to lay, lay, uh, put this corner on zero and then I'm going to put this corner somewhere along the one, the one whole line. So let's get that going here. So there's the zero, and there's the one. So you can see there's the zero, and there's the one. And then I'm going to 
put little dots at, oops, except I want to do it in black. There's one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, and of course seven sevenths. And then I'm going to rotate this, and now I have a, a rectangle perfectly in sevenths. I'm going to draw these right here, sevenths. Now I want you to ignore those blue lines because those blue lines are not needed anymore. And you can see that we have taken this red rectangle and perfectly cut it into sevenths. That's a really cool trick. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 30, a really cool lesson where we learn how to use a number line to partition something into equal parts. That is really cool.